From a 400-year-old city that floats on the water to a version of Stonehenge built by spiders. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number seven. Looks like the Curiosity rover has captured images of more creatures on Mars. This time, UFO enthusiasts have claimed to have seen a four-legged creature that bears a resemblance to the spider monkey. Now, this particular UFO hunter says you can make out long upper arms and shorter lower limbs. And if you add light to the face, you can supposedly make out two eyes that are staring right back at the rover. You can study the image for yourself and see if you agree. Now, it appears to have the same coloring as the landscape, leading many to believe the monkey is actually a rock formation. Along with the alleged Martian primate, other creatures were discerned in other images from the rover. They include something that appears to be a snail, an alien laying down on the surface, presumably napping, and a slug-like critter that seems to be emerging from a rock. And for the record, spider monkeys are new world monkeys that actually do exist in the rainforests of Central and South America, right here on Terra Firma. Number six. A boulder that bears a striking resemblance to a UFO was discovered in central China. The strange-looking stone measures about 9 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, and weighs around 6 tons. The man who found it said he noticed the oddly shaped rock by a hillside. He bought the rock from the landowner, then spent a week unearthing it and transporting it home by crane. So far, the boulder's unique look and shape has experts baffled. In all, it has three tiers. The base is composed of several stone pillars which support the upper layers. The the middle section displays seven oval holes, while the top tier is flat with five pillars located to the side and a platform that's broad enough to sit on. While it's been identified as basalt stone, it's unknown if the rock's strange formation is a result of natural occurrence or if it had been crafted by hand, perhaps by ancient peoples who once inhabited the region. And if it was handcrafted, what purpose could it have served? Number five. A researcher at Tufts University in Massachusetts is gaining a reputation as a modern-day Dr. Frankenstein. The work of Dr. Michael Levin centers around organ placement in the body. His controversial experiments have already resulted in tadpoles that have eyes on the backs and frogs that have six legs. Additional experiments involving flatworms have shown that the animals can regenerate the heads and brains of flatworm species not their own, even if the effect is temporary. Dr. Levin's work focuses on ion channels, hollow proteins found across the surface of cells which allow charged molecules to travel through. Each channel has minuscule gates that control the flow of the molecules. Dr. Levin thinks that his work could one day apply to humans, perhaps allowing soldiers to regrow limbs lost to bombs or mines on the battlefield, or correcting birth defects. Number four. Empire of the Ants. Could ants take over the Earth? Researchers say that an ant species found in ancient forests of Ethiopia is displaying early signs of supercolony formation, and only 20 ant species worldwide are known to do this. Supercolonies can extend far beyond a single nest and comprise colonies that can cover thousands of miles. They essentially have the potential to expand their range free from constraint. Experts found several supercolonies of L. Canessens, the largest of which spans some 38 kilometers or 24 miles. These represent the largest supercolonies of an ant species yet documented. Factors including the insect's ballooning numbers and the ecological dominance indicate the characteristics of an invasive species which can travel with humans. As this area of Ethiopia attracts more tourists, the ants could hitch a ride in plant material or in tourist luggage. That leads some experts to consider the possibility that the Ethiopian forest might be ground zero for an emerging dominant ant species which could potentially start a global invasion. Number three. The last known Tasmanian tiger is believed to have died in 1936 at the Hobart Zoo in Tasmania, at which point the animal was believed to be extinct. But a recent story claims the creature might still be with us. A short video from Victoria, Australia supposedly depicts the image of a dog-like animal which could be the Tasmanian tiger. Now the picture we have is really blurry, bear in mind, but look to the left and you can see what appears to be a long thin tail, supposedly similar to that of the tiger. Now the video was actually shot in 2014 by the Victorian Wildlife Research and Rescue. That's a group of amateur investigators. But did they get a Tasmanian tiger by the tail? Number two. 
Did you know that the only city ever built entirely on water was constructed by a vanished ancient civilization some 400 years ago? The city of Nan Madal was comprised of elaborate stone structures found across 92 artificial islands. The islands are connected by tidal canals, and the name, the ruins of the city, still stand in a lagoon located off the coast of Ponape, which is in the Federated States of Micronesia. The floating city was constructed over several centuries by the Sotalua Kingdom. It's estimated that more than 750,000 tons of black rock were used to construct the floating city. And what's even more impressive is that the city was constructed without access to levers and pulleys. Those inventions hadn't been introduced to the region at that time. Nan Madol served as the capital city until 1628, when the Sotalua were defeated and driven out by Isakelka, a rival leader. The city then was forgotten for centuries and fell into ruin. Nan Madol was rediscovered in 1928 and is still considered a marvel of engineering. Number one. Strange picket fence structures measuring around two centimeters across found in the Peruvian Amazon were a mystery until a baby orange spider was seen hatching from the formation that resembles Stonehenge. Dubbed Silkhenge, the formation was discovered in 2013, and they've since been found in Ecuador and French Guiana in addition to Peru. Yet the spiders that constructed the formations remain unidentified, and so far, no one has observed the arachnids actually building the structures. It's hoped the video will provide insight to the spider species and why it builds the strange formations. Because the tiny spider was seen hatching from the bottom of the tower, experts now now realize it contains the spider's eggs. As for the purpose of the fence-like structure, those walls might be used as a barrier to protect the tower structure from ants. And because it resembles fungus, researchers think the fence might serve as a type of camouflage. This is Trending Tuesdays.